Hi right, guys, um, another Division 2 video. Um, this time, um, my incursion build. Let's get it. Okay, so yeah, this is my um, incursion build that I use and, and I'll uh, talk through um, the different things that I change as and when I uh, play through the game. Um, I haven't played uh, Division 2 in a while, I've been playing uh, Diablo and uh, Fallout 4 and Cod and things like that uh, because uh, Division 2 just got stale, uh, you know what I mean, we, we, we've been playing it for a long time now, for five years, um, at least five years shall I say, and um, raiding most of that time, um, helping people through uh, both raids and teaching them the raids and then when the incursion came out we did a lot of that as well, um, not just me but um, BFG as a discord with um, the uh, team of staff and, and raid leaders and, and all those uh, good guys that we've got over there um, but I just got bored of it to be honest I, and, I, and I, it happens sometimes I, I remember a couple of years ago I did the same and I didn't play it for like a, a good few months and then just like then like now um, I tried the PTS server and it kind of you know what I mean brought me back you know what I mean and, and, and I really enjoyed the PTS server um, I was I was a bit uh, baffled by a lot of it because I've not played for so long I wasn't sure what was new builds and what, what wasn't new builds but you know what I mean it, it, it is what it is and, and it's made me um, fall back in love with the game I suppose I mean I really really enjoyed it so um, I thought I would um, play some incursions um, last night I had a lot of fun I learnt a new way and how to kill right which I've got a video on my um, YouTube channel how to do that so I thought I would do one about the build that I use and the build that I like and 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 show some footage of it in action. Okay, so the starter build that I go for is the striker's build. It's 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 tried and tested. Um, it works. There, there is a backfire build as well that I like to use sometimes when I like to mix it up. But this is the build that, that we that I use and a lot of people use um, throughout the um, game. So to start off with the specialization, the reason why I use the crossbow. Is because there's a talent on there on the on the skill tree, where if you're within a vicinity of of um, your teammates and you heal, it heals them for a percentage as well. It's luck because you are busy a lot of the time, and some of the times you're not always really close to each other, but sometimes you are. There's this there's, there's definitely two instances where you're really really close to people, so healing up um, benefits everybody. So that's why I run that. Um, you can change it for this first bit, I suppose, and have it as um, the grenade launcher, so you can ignore mortars, which would help you with um, this first bit. But that's that's um, down to you. I don't I don't find it it's a problem because I can see the red circles on the floor, so I know to roll away or, or uh, to get out of the way of the the mortars anyway. Um, the gun of choice for me is the St. Elmo's. Um, I just think it works. I do like the Or Ouroboros, and I do like the Eagle Bearer for this. And I, I like all three of them for three different reasons. I like the St. Elmo's because of the shock rounds. Because it means it shocks the enemies in place. So it means you can do more damage to them. And the Eagle Bear hits harder. But you haven't got that, that shock. And the Ouroboros just melts. But you're forever looking for ammo. So that's, that's a bit of a pain. Um, so my go-to is the St. Elmo's. But I don't hate the other two. Uh, my next gun is the stage left. The only reason why I've got this gun is because it's the only one that I've got in on this character that's that's um, got the sledgehammer on it. So that's just for right when you uh, need to throw a grenade at him, or even the twins at the end. Um, you can you can um, throw a grenade at them as well, and you get the sledgehammer perk, so it helps everybody do more damage. That's the only reason why I run that. Um, we run the uh, card custom because. Of as far as I know, if they haven't changed it, is that if you equip the card custom and drop your reviver hive, you don't lose your reviver hive. There's a little glitch that was usable, but I'm not sure if it is now, but it, it was. So that's why I run that. Um, it's a four piece striker, uh, no messing about. It's, it does exactly what it says on the tin. So we've got, uh, you want critical damage and critical chance all the way through. Critical damage, critical chance, critical damage, critical chance. And then um, it's uh, the Fenris uh, gloves, obviously, because it's assault rifle, because that's what the um, uh, St. Elmo is. 
and then on the chest, which I'm actually missing a gear mod, which I'll have to put on now, I go for perfect spark because I've always got a skill running, especially on boss 2 and boss 3. Well, actually, on all of on, on some of this first one, I'd, uh, it don't really benefit, but on the other other three, I, I like to use turrets. So um, that's why the perfect spark really helps for that. Um, and then it's just a reviver hive, which you don't really need for this first one, um, especially if you're running a flawless. If you go down, you, we tend to restart anyway, but um, you can use it, 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 it if you're not going for flawless. And then the decoy is to stop the mortars from coming at you. So as soon as you, I like to be the guy that runs left on this bit. So when I run left, I throw out the decoy and then the mortars, and the turret, sorry, goes for the decoy and then I can get rid of the turret. Um, I'll show some footage of this build now. We'll send a helo for extraction when you're done. We haven't been able to get a hold of Agent Barker. We don't know what you're walking into. So Bell dropped you outside the estate's gardens. You'll need to find a way onto the grounds to secure the site. If you want to secure the garden, you're gonna need to take out that turret. These cleaners must have developed a new fueling system. They're not wearing their regular gear, so if you are planning on blowing their tanks, you're gonna need to find a new way to handle this threat. Great work, Agent. Okay, so for this next part, all I do is I just switch the decoy. Is that a dragon? A what the hell were they planning here? Be careful, Agent. For the truck, that thing is basically a bomb. security team. He's using some special fuel. The flames had a weird color and decimated everything in their path. Please, be careful, Agent. You need to neutralize that cleaner. That room could go up in minutes. The fire doesn't kill you, the lack of oxygen will. and get the survivors out of there. Organize this invasion. You need to be prepared for anything. Room areas they have access to shade tech. Not sure if common 
Assistance needed. An agent needs assistance. I can fix you. Get ready to die. I love you. Promise you'll find me. I promise, baby. As soon as I kill the bastard, you will be coming. guys and and that is it that's the build that i used um as you can as you saw um, i only changed from the decoy to the turret after the first phase um you you would have seen in in some of the footage that um how perfect smack um helps um with having the turret gives you that extra little damage uh, buff um also um there's be some for this footage in there of when wow the crossbow um helps when i heal up um, there's a little part where quite a few of us went down so as people was getting up i healed and then you you saw their health going up as well um so yeah so that's it that's my um go to dps incursion build enjoy <laughs>